Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Today in this video I want to talk about and I will tell you something about AVG Internet Security Settings. So let's get started. First you need to open your AVG Internet Security and it's pretty much the same for AVG Antivirus and AVG Internet Security Board. So, if you are using AVG Internet, uh, AVG, sorry, AVG Antivirus, uh, the settings are same. So, first you need to go to open your Internet Security. Whenever you install an Internet Security or antivirus, any kind, not just AVG, Bitdefender, or anywhere any antivirus. The settings that is set by default is limited so it won't uh, scan the whole computer or it will skip different kinds of files that you may want to scan it for some reason maybe your computer is infected with virus or trojan or whatever so you want your antivirus or your internet security to go deep into your computer to search out the virus so it won't do uh, if it's if the setting is set by default because it's limited so when your AVG internet security is open click on options go to advanced settings So the first thing you need to do is click on computer protection. Click on the plus sign and then antivirus. So here it asks you something like enable resident shield, uh, check the box. I prefer to check all of it because let's see what they say ask me before removing threats if you want it, uh, if you want to remove threats uh, and they, if you want the antivirus to ask you before you remove the threats then check the box report and report potentially unwanted applications and spyware threats report enhanced set of potentially unwanted applications scan files on clothes, scan boot sector of removable media use heuristics so I, I suggest you to go and check all of these boxes I personally do it because I want my antivirus, my uh, internet security to remove any potentially threat uh, you can and then and then go to expert settings so when when you click on antivirus when you check all these boxes click again on the plus sign and go to expert settings so here you, here you have two options file scan by resident shield scan only infectable files and selected document types so but you need to go is scan all files let your antivirus or internet security scan all files it is better it is much better to let it scan all files and then click on anti root kit running this scan manually is not usually necessary but whole computer scans also detect root kits so if you want your antivirus to detect root kits you need to check this full root kit root kit scan not quick root scan because uh, in quick root kit scan mm, probably it will it will not be able or it will skip some files uh, so it's yeah go for full root kit scan and then click on cache server and check these two boxes then email for some so now these settings is about email protection uh, first go to email scanner check incoming email 
check outgoing email it's up to you I prefer just check incoming email uh, and again check all of these so don't don't I, I personally don't check these boxes it's about email attachment reporting so if somebody send you an email and there's the attachment like a file document or picture it will scan and report you about that if there's any virus trojan spam or whatever I personally don't check this because I don't get so much emails uh, if you are if you use a PC for business purposes and uh, you have you will get lots of email every day then it's better for you to check all these boxes to make sure that everything is secure and your computer is not infected with virus so let's let's see what what it says report password protected archives report password protected documents report files containing macros report hidden extensions move reported attachments to virus ball so it basically report you about every kind of threat okay and then again click on the plus sign do not go to anti spam right uh, click on the plus sign and go to certification certify incoming email I personally don't know what is this so I better let it uncheck mail field form so if you check this box it will remove any attachment that comes with your email so for example if somebody send have sent you an email with a picture it will remove the picture and will show you just the email if you prefer this way you can check the box but I don't prefer this way it's too much and then go to click on servers this settings allow you to create a new email scanner server or modify existing so it's not for a home user it's for somebody who does the networking and uh, who like uh, runs a small company and organization and uh, wants to keep track of uh, their organization and for example 5, 6, 10 or 20 computers and then go to anti spam so see when you click on anti spam there's nothing you need to click on the plus sign to expand it go to settings so the first thing you need to do is check this box what it does is turn it turns on anti spam protection and then more aggressive move message to a junk folder Microsoft Outlook plugin only uh, ask before reporting wrong detection allow to send upon user confirmation data about misidentified email just leave this one it says add recipients of sent emails to whitelist for me this is I don't I, I don't get this it's unnecessary for me so check this box the first one obviously it's important it will turn on anti spam protection and then turn this check this box move message to junk folder but it's only for Microsoft Outlook and check this box modify the subject for messages marked as spam and uh, ask before reporting wrong detection allow to send up okay and uh, then go to performance so here you can change your engine performance settings I prefer it low end so what it does is the anti spam engine will be set based on this configuration profile local resources available and historical traffic patterns uh, to be honest I don't know about this so I've, I've not checked this one let it be as it is 
let's see what it is enable online chatting it enable the NT scan engine will communicate with the mail shell spam lab server to determine better scoring I prefer it uh, to be on and then whitelist uh, is it's not used for us blacklist either and uh, it's for settings filtering language list uh, no. so if you want to block an IP address for, for any reason you can type that IP address here in this search bar and eight or if you have already added an IP address or blocked the IP address you can modify or you can remove it uh, you can block country country code mm. let's see what is all the real time so it's not for us uh, yeah and then go to web browsing section it's very important make sure that link scanner surf shield settings is on make sure this box is checked on and then online shield enable online shield make sure the the, the box is checked threat notification mode standard pop-up dialog recommend you can change it to tray balloon notification tray icon signalization doesn't matter you just want to get the notification so leave it as it is standard pop-up dialog and uh, go to express settings check archives so in the web protection if you want to check the archives check the box report enhanced set of potentially unwanted applications well I want it yes enable Toro scanning so if you want a Toro a deep scan click check this box and uh, then go to scans all computer scans so this is the most important one because it's about your whole computer being scanned by the antivirus check every every one of these box I'd say when it comes like by default it's not not all of the boxes are checked but you need to check all of it and then check these box all file types and uh, yeah check all these boxes and uh, update so this setting is about updating your antivirus or internet security when to update files if computer restart is required require confirmation from the user so when your inter antivirus or internet security is updated it will ask you before restarting the computer itself so change it and leave it to required confirmation from the user or it will or if you want it to restart immediately without asking you you can check this box complete at next computer restart or it will not ask you nor it will restart immediately but when you restart uh, the next time your computer uh, the update uh, files will uh, will change and uh, the virus will yeah, it's pretty much everything a home user should need and uh, and then click 
Okay. For the changes to take place, close your antivirus, and you are done. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, it's a quick video. It was a quick video for you. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and leave a comment if you have any questions. Thank you. Bye bye.